Welcome to exercise 15. And here we're going to be doing two letters together. For example, NG at N as in swing, NK -nk, as in pink, SH as in sh, sh as in ship, the X as in box. And notice here that the X is actually the K and the S sound together. K -s -k -s. Real fast there. Next we have NGS as in rings. Now we got the S on the end, rings. And NKS winks. He winks with his eye. So let's look at the NG. And we put these in groups. Uh, the first two are words with the uh, short a, a, so we have gang. A gang is a group of kids that get together, have some fun. Then we have hang, like uh, hang up the clothes. Then we have, these are ing, ing, as in the word king, who rules over a country, ring, this can be ring the doorbell or a ring that you put on your finger. Sing, sing a song, and wing as the wing of a bird. Then we have the O-N-G, ong, as in the word long. It's not short, it's long. And song, I can sing a song. And then the last one here with the U, ung, we have rung. He um have they rung the bell yet? Now we have NGS as in lungs. Can you hear that? You breathe with your lungs and bangs. A loud sound is a bang. NK, nk, and you can hear the k on there, nk. So now we have bang, put your money in the bank. Hank. Maybe you've read Hank the Cow Dog. Rank. What is your rank in the military? Tank. This can be like a water tank or it can be like an army tank. Now the next ones are I N. Those were A N K ink. Now we have I N K ink, as in the word ink. Put ink in your pen, your fountain pen. Link. A link in a chain. Mink. A mink coat is warm. Pink. That's the color pink. Some people like pink. And sink. Wash your hands in the sink or the boat can sink. Now we have UNK, unk, as in the word dunk. Dunk your donut. Junk. We have a lot of old things we don't need, and it's all junk. And sunk, the boat sunk in the storm, sunk. NKS, that's a terrific tuppy, is it not? That's winks. He winks with his, he winks with his eye, right? So you got a nice wink there. Now we're going to do the SH. It can begin at the, used at the beginning or the end of words. So we have ash, when you burn something, you have the ash left. Cash, when you pay for something with uh, dollars and pennies and quarters and dimes, that's cash. Dash, um, a dash can be a short race. A dash, he ran a dash, or a dash is just a little bit of something, just a dash of salt. Gash, like you have a, a bad cut. Hash, um, it's a kind of a food. Lash, when you tie somebody to something, maybe to protect them. Uh, lash. Um, mash, and it can be, uh, lash is just when you hook anything up. Uh, next we have mash, like you mash your toe, or you can have mashed potatoes. A rash, that's when you itch. And a sash. S-A-S-H, sash. 
The last two are, those were all ash. Now we have two ish words as the word dish. Don't break the dish. And wish. Make a wish. Now we have three words that have the U. So that's going to, the short U, that's going to be the ush words. Ush. So we have hush, like be quiet, hush. Mush can be a food. Uh, may, mush for dinner. Rush, that's when you're in a hurry. In a rush. Now the next three are not, you won't be timed on these on your exercise, but uh, they're good words to know. And they begin with the SH. So the first one is shall. Shall we eat out tonight? Another way to say will. Used a little bit different. Ship, like a ship on the ocean. And shop. I like to shop for books. And finally, in this lesson, we have the X, which, remember, is actually two sounds, the K and the S. So the first word is axe. You can chop down a tree with an axe. Tax, that's money you pay the government for their services. Wax, wax your car, wax the furniture. Max. Um, which is a name. You can see the capital letter there. So those are all X words. Now we have an E, X. So now we have next, like next in line. These three here, we have I, X. That would be X as in fix, fix the faucet, mix, mix a drink like uh, Kool-Aid, six, the number six, and then we have three O-X words, ox, as in the word box, box, let's see, uh, box, he stood on a box, a fox, the fox tries to get the chicken, and the ox can pull a plow. All right, uh, best of luck on these, and remember, uh, you need to be able to read these, read them at your calibrated speed, and if you're teacher or parent, whoever you're working with, uh, says one of these words, you should be able to spell the word with the letter names or writing the word. So best of luck.